Lisa, real quick here. This is a very, very tragic day. This is the earth. This will put it. I can, and I'll ask the whole audience, and if the camera can pan around, let anybody answer this question they can. And this is not to make anybody feel less than they are, or make them feel stupid, or make them feel anywhere near inc incapable of handling the question. This is meant to sh I wish they'd make any Asian a hero, because that means that my children would be prepared for the future. I wish they would make to get into today um, and we've we've invited a lot of people here to give us i hope uh very a lot very points of view on this topic when we come back and generally don't have it well, we have <laughs> i expect that from my crew <laughs> so you see very quickly let's get a look at today's weather while we admire this beautiful cake just for joan in america i'm joan london and i'm elizabeth vargas in for charlie gibson it is wednesday september 18th and coming up we're going to look at all three of those stories that Joan just mentioned. We will talk with a reporter who had dinner with O.J. Simpson at his home on Monday night as he prepared to face charges in a civil court. And also, Head, you may think that passenger side airbags protect your children in the car. Well, think again. A new study shows airbags could... Orange juice. Coming up, we're going to have the latest on U.S. servicemen exposed to chemical weapons during the Gulf War. And Bette Midler and Goldie Hawn will tell you what really happened on the set of First Wives Club, so don't go away. And that was the mindset, I think, that took hold on, on Wall Street. These people did not feel constrained by the statutes and regulations that the rest of us had to live by. Where were the so-called regulators during all this? Well, eventually they came forward as the goes into some detail, but I think they were, they were caught unawares. Nobody was prepared for the great explosion in trading volume, the new electronic techniques, the new methods of financing, such as junk bonds, and uh, it caught them by surprise. You describe the salaries, or you, you say they were incomprehensible. For example, what did Michael Milken earn in 1986? Well, in his regular salary and bonus from hell to finish the trade, that he crawled under his desk to deal with the client, and the stripper just went in right after him. It was he Incredible. You describe him as, as pretty much of a taskmaster, but a lot of people say he was quite generous of spirit when it came to his employees. Well, there were there definitely flashes of, uh, of generosity. He'd taste each one and keep only one and send the rest back. And Dennis Levine has now written his own book. Yes. Tell me quickly about him. Well, I, Dennis Levine, I think... I interviewed Milken for this book, but you talked extensively with Ivan Boski. Aren't Bo Boski's stories uh, a little suspect, his recollections a little... Well, I, I don't want to discuss who I did or didn't talk to in the court. Plea bargain will stand, even if he lies now. Hmm. Quick final question. Uh, you write about privileged conversations that take place behind closed doors, about the innermost feelings of some of your... Not even recognize him. Anymore. No, you didn't forget, right. did you? <laughs> That's right. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Have a lovely morning, and no. Uh, it's uh, 29 after the hour, and we'll be back in a bit. Oh, <laughs> try to live it extended another 24 hours. You always try that when you come back. Yeah. You just don't want to give in. Yeah. Yeah. Very new. Extended another 24 hours. You always try that when you come back. Yeah. You just don't want to give in. So is, this, is there some real bad blood here? I mean, uh, is it, is it going to get nasty in WrestleMania 4? I mean, is it going to be... It's not going to get one more time. But everybody's telling I'm a bad guy, or a bad guy, just because I challenged the champion. WrestleMania 4 this weekend, Trump Plaza in Atlantic City. Yes. Any tactics? Any surprises? Well, no surprises. I'm going to win again. So I'll be there, <laughs> <laughs> Ted, nice. You're going to come back another time, talking. I, I want to say. Let me let me move. I want to say something. How big? There's a very good idea. Excuse me. Now, Andre, put your hand up next to mine. Have you? I want to say. Let me let me move. I want to say something. How big? There's a very good idea. Excuse me. We should make three. And I'm. I think my mind is already. I think you're without mail. Check that. I'll talk you through thirty minutes. Without mail. has her 34 or 35 children here. <laughs> the first time I've seen Joan London not pregnant, and I think that's a special occasion in this country. <laughs> oh, Joan, you have to take it from all sides here. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Absolutely. You two are going to be doing the parade Sunday morning, right? We're hearing a little bit.
had a Disney music video. You're on, kiddo. And which which of the Disney to the Disney? Uh, Joan, are you standing by? Are you ready? We got we people go. running and strapping microphones on you there. Put down your books, Joan. All right, here we go. You're on, kiddo. And which which of the Disney characters? 24 minutes before the hour next, American coaches may might be doing justice to uh, our young athletes. We'll find out. He wasn't here, but early. Bend those knees. Bend those knees and stay down. Stay down. <laughs> we're in we're going to play the relay. <laughs> now we're going to go out to Kansas City. Or a live hit. Did you see? So, this must be wrong. <laughs> Well, Mark McEwen is out and about in Kansas City this morning, and he has found one of Kansas City's fine landmarks. Mark, what's going on? Welcome back to Kansas City and CBS this morning. I'm Captain. So Dr. Bob Barnott later in the hour is going to talk about guys to talk about eggs and odd hours, and also a little later Fred Savage joins us. His current movie, one of the most popular movies in history, yet it never won. An Oscar for Best Picture. Welcome back to CBS This Morning. Six-year batted dad. Uh, Heartbreak graduate tomorrow on CBS This Morning. 30-something actress, Polly Draper. And also Cheers actress, Rhea Perlman, is going to join us. She's been campaigning for quality child care. And also for the latest on the day's event, please watch CBS Evening News with Dan Rather tonight. We hope you have a terrific day, and we will see you tomorrow. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye. Do you know why they're always complicated? They never use real people. Because the company says that embarrassing things happen to real people. And that kind of device gives them a shot. Father, there have to be great opponents to this. I mean, inflicting pain on a child. I mean, there are a lot, there's controversy on, over every kind of aversion therapy. Do you is that? No, I really have to. You haven't seen that? The one who wins and runs the country. Hey, hey Bob. Hey, what the blast around the park? Oh, running around the park and across the Grand Canyon and saying, whoa. Naked. No, 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 no. But what did he say on the show, though? Oh, I didn't. I missed that. Did you, did you were you awake? Great yeah. lies. Whoa. What did he say last night? He said something about jumping across the Grand Canyon and saying, whoa. Naked. No, 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 no. What did he say on the show, though? Oh, I didn't. I missed that. Did you, did you, what? 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 You got a home opener today? Yeah. The Mets? Yeah. Open the party. Pat, thank you. Five before the hour. We'll be back it's not like Harry and I have any differences, but we both like to come up next to the corners and kind of... So you guys don't have any differences, Harry, and I have any differences, but we both like to come up next to them. In fact, last night, a month ago, when we talked to Larry Brown yesterday, he said how he wanted to make those, the most important goal he had yesterday was to make them all feel like winners. He said he talked to them on Sunday, made them feel like the Boston Celtics, and on Monday he wanted them to feel like the LA Lakers and wanted them to feel like it like that. Very impressive. We're going to talk to Larry Brown here in just a second. Let's talk with Mark McEwen now for this morning's win. Harry joins Ben Wattenberg and Wattenberg. Well, continues to stay with us. Baseball is just great. Baseball. Very easy to find. No you know way. where things are. Right. You know, you can go quickly and find things. The USA Today is very good about the Los Angeles Times sports section. I don't know if there's a better one in the country. Now, I cannot <laughs> find... Where's she from? I am she from. I'm curious. I mean, I'm at the Meadowland. No land. stretch, as it were. The last episode's coming up. And Christopher Plummer joins us. He's going to be starring, or he is actually starring. You took it for years and went to prison for fighting back. And Dr. Bob Arnott and saving thousands of kids who died during childhood. Yeah. Who took it for years and went to prison for fighting back. And Dr. Bob Arnott. Do uh, you have birthdays now? Yes, I do. Do you have birthdays now? Yes, I do. I'm <laughs> <laughs> sorry, you're offended. I'm sorry. 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 I'm Exceptional people. Jane Sullivan. And I'm Harry Smith. Good morning. And this is Tuesday, correct? It is indeed. <laughs> Coming up in just a moment. Tips for our own home. You... <laughs> <laughs> also, Michael Feldstein, Feldstein is going to be here tomorrow to celebrate the world. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Mark McEwen is off today. Yes, he is. And joining us today. If there wasn't enough hot air already around. We're going to Moscow next week. CBS this morning will be broadcasting from Moscow, as most of the people at CBS News. So. Two days in Moscow for you, one day in London. That's right. And no you're joke. going to take the Reagans with you. <laughs> Excuse me? You're taking the Reagans with you? 
No, the Reagans are already there. Well, they're weekend, away. and you're about to take a big trip. Well, we're going to Moscow next week. CBS this morning will be broadcasting from Moscow, as most of the people at CBS News. So, Two days in Moscow for you, one day in London. That's right. And no, you're going to take the Reagans with I found this in the world of books. Everything, you know, is used by the Susan understands of this country. Gorbachev has taken down the Communist Party banners, and he's also taken the Zero. Very smart. Very smart. off this week. Who with us now with the weather is Kevin O'Connell. Kate, so you know whatever you want. Orange juice yeah. or grapefruit. <laughs> and you know, the husband walks outside and picks a couple off the tree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's a That's terrific headmistress as a neat school. You bet. And those markets we saw really just kind of... They didn't try. They didn't try. Mayor Schmuck, thank you for the problem that faces, of course, many cities. Things are much better, though, here. I, if you look at the statistics, four years ago, 122 incidents, only 45 left. Back and bring the kids back here. Got to see. Did you notice that the little field was applauding you? No, he was applauding you. <laughs> can bring the kids back here. Got to see. Did you notice that the little field was applauding you? No, he was applauding you. <laughs> it's Friday morning. It's June 17th. No, just, yes, and I'm Charles Gibson. Nice to have you with us this morning. We are spending the morning in Baltimore. Real pleasure to be here. Absolutely. We're going to show you how to crack crabs, how to pick them, and how to eat them, too. That's oh, absolutely stay around. Time. Stick around. <laughs> Second hour coming up. Morning. Well, we're not going to see you. No. All right. How did you know? How did you know we were going to show your high school picture? We're trying these things out. In serious <laughs> investigative journalism. <laughs> I don't know what time zone I'm on, and then I w stayed up and watched that Laker game. This is, that's all we were talking about. But we were talking about red shoes. Uh, in your in your absence, ruby slippers. We had uh, we had the, I actually got to hold those shoes in my hot little hands, and they went up for auction yesterday. Five B. I was going to ask. Great trivia question. Six, 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 six B. B. Yeah. They are six B. Then I think I know who bought them. There's <laughs> 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 pairs of ruby slippers that actually exist, right. but a lot of them uh, forgot the uh, the sled. R Rose, 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 Spielberg owns that. They're like George Lucas. Yeah, girls, that dark, yeah. Yeah, girls are usually remanded to either the shortstop or the catcher, except when somebody's coming into home. And I tell you, look at all these guys all around. It's a four-letter word. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> so it's J U L Y. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Weddings are in again, and they're the subject of CBS News 48 Hours broadcast tonight. And getting into the nuptial spirit, we decided to go to a play, an off-Broadway play called Tony and Tina's Wedding. Off-Broadway hit that looks like a real marriage, Tony and Tina's Wedding. <laughs> Democrats are back into the name game. That's right. Because even back in the 1800s,